Imagine standing on the beach feeling the sand beneath your feet as the sound of the crashing waves fills your ears. Today, we dive into the world of ocean waves. These rhythmic movements of water, these mesmerizing natural phenomena, have held mankind's fascination for centuries. They are not just breathtaking sights for our eyes, but they also play a crucial role in our world. Ocean waves play a vital role in the dynamics of the sea. They carry energy across vast distances, and they help to shape our coastlines. They serve as a playground for surfers, a source of inspiration for poets, and a field of study for scientists. They can be gentle and calming or powerful and destructive. These waves are a result of the intricate dance between the ocean and the atmosphere, a dance guided by the forces of wind, tides, and currents. So get ready to ride the wave of knowledge as we delve deeper into the world of ocean waves. Ocean waves, they come in all shapes and sizes, but what makes them tick? Dive with me into the heart of the sea, where the symphony of ocean waves plays on. Each wave, whether a gentle ripple or a towering wall of water, possesses characteristics as unique as a fingerprint. Let's get to know these better. Wavelength, frequency, and amplitude. Wavelength is the distance between successive crests or troughs of a wave. Picture the ocean on a peaceful day, with waves rolling in one after another. The space between each wave is the wavelength. The larger the wavelength, the further apart the waves, and the more tranquil the sea appears. Next, we have frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a given amount of time. Think of it as the rhythm of the sea. A high frequency means more waves are washing over a particular spot in less time, creating what we might call choppy seas. Now, on to amplitude. Amplitude is the height of a wave, measured from the middle of the wave, also known as the wave's equilibrium, to its crest. The greater the amplitude, the taller the wave. When the amplitude is high, brace yourself, because those are the giant waves that surfers dream about and seafarers respect. These three characteristics, wavelength, frequency, and amplitude, intersect in a delicate dance to determine the size and power of a wave. A long wavelength with a high frequency and large amplitude. That's a powerful wave, capable of shaping coastlines and powering wave energy generators. But remember, each of these characteristics is influenced by external factors like wind, tides, and currents. The sea is a grand orchestra, with each wave a note shaped by these conductors. So waves aren't just water moving around, they're a symphony of complex characteristics working together. Waves are the heartbeat of the ocean, each one unique, each one part of the greater melody of the sea. And that's what makes them tick. Scene Script have you ever wondered how ocean waves are formed? It's a fascinating process. The birth of an ocean wave begins with a simple gust of wind. This wind brushes against the surface of the sea, causing friction that triggers ripples. These ripples gradually grow in size, feeding off the energy of the wind, and voila, waves are born. But let's delve a bit deeper. Three key factors play a crucial role in the formation of these waves. Wind speed, wind duration, and fetch. Wind speed is quite simply how fast the wind is blowing. The greater the wind speed, the larger the waves. Then, we have wind duration. This refers to how long the wind has been blowing. It's not just a quick puff of wind that creates those towering waves you might see surfers riding. No, it takes a substantial duration of consistent wind to build up those majestic rollers. Lastly, we come to fetch. Fetch may sound like a game you play with your dog, but in this context, it refers to the distance over which the wind blows without interruption. A larger fetch gives the wind more time to transfer its energy to the water, resulting in bigger waves. So how do these elements work together? Well, the wind starts to blow, and if it's strong enough and blows for long enough over a large enough area, it begins to build waves. These waves then travel across the ocean, growing and changing as they interact with currents, tides, and other waves. It's a dance of energy, with the wind and the ocean moving in a complex rhythm, creating the waves that we see breaking on the shore. Each wave is a story of a journey, a tale of wind and water and energy that starts out in the open ocean and ends on the shore. So, the next time you see a wave crash on the shore, remember the journey it's been on to get there. Ocean waves have a life of their own. They can travel thousands of miles, reshape our coastlines, and even create new habitats. The behavior of waves is a fascinating dance of energy and water, governed by the laws of physics and influenced by the world around them. Waves are not static entities, but dynamic, ever-changing forms that move, interact, and evolve in response to a variety of factors. Let's start with wave movement. 
Waves travel across the surface of the ocean in a circular motion, carrying energy from one place to another. But it's not just the wave that moves, it's the energy. The water particles themselves only move up and down, never truly leaving their original place. It's a bit like how you'd swing a lasso. The rope moves in a circle, but each part of the rope stays in the same place. Waves interact with the shore in ways that can both build and destroy. As a wave approaches the shore, it slows down due to friction with the ocean floor. The top of the wave, still moving at the original speed, catches up and crashes over, creating the white cap we all know and love. This is the wave breaking. Breaking waves can cause erosion, gradually wearing away the coastline. Over time, this can lead to dramatic changes in the landscape with cliffs being worn down and sandy beaches washing away. But waves aren't just destroyers, they're also builders. They transport sand and sediment along the coast in a process known as longshore drift, creating new landforms like sandbars and spits. Finally, let's not forget about the role of wind, tides, and currents. These factors can amplify or dampen waves, change their direction, and even cause them to collide and create even larger waves. So the next time you're watching the waves roll in, take a moment to appreciate the complex physics and geology at work. From their birth to their crash on the shore, each wave takes a unique journey shaped by the world around it. Ocean waves are more than just a beautiful sight, they're a powerful force of nature. We've journeyed through the characteristics of these waves, unraveling the mysteries of their formation and behavior. We've seen how ocean waves are not just random occurrences but a result of complex interactions between wind, tides and currents. They're not standalone phenomena but an integral part of our planet's ecosystem, contributing to the global climate and weather patterns. And let's not forget the importance of these waves to human life. Whether it's the surfer riding the crest, the sailor navigating the high seas, or the coastal communities that thrive on the bounty of the ocean, waves play an indispensable role. They are the rhythm of the sea, a testament to the unending cycle of energy transfer in our world. What do you think about ocean waves now? Are you more fascinated by them? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing content like this.